here we have definition of derivative question. So uh, say we are given this expression and we are to find the function f at x. So what function does this belong to? So h approaching 0. So you know that whenever it comes to the definition of derivative, it equals to limit h approaching 0 f at x plus h. Notice this is a derivative, which is equal to regular function minus f at x over h. So knowing this, we know that x is equal to 2 now. That's as much as we know so far. So x is equal to 2. And as we break this equation apart, we've got 2 plus h, which is right here. And so it looks like f at x plus h looks like 2 plus h to the power of 3. And f at x looks like this 8 thing over there. So f at x without the negative, because negative is just part of the equation, because it's to be the difference between the height and difference between the x points. So that looks to be 8. And obviously, x is equal to 2. So we've got f at 2 is equal to 8. So then it looks like 2 to the power of 3. These two functions match that way. So then the function is then indeed going to be f at x. All we have to do is replace this by x, replace this by x. So it's going to be x to the power of 3. So that's how you break this equation apart. Sometimes you are asked to build this equation from a function that's given to you. Or other twisted interesting question will be going backwards. You're given this expression and you are to find out the original function. So I hope this gives you a clear understanding as to how to go about doing that. Break the pieces apart. Obviously, there's nothing you need to do about h. All you need to do is f at x plus h and f at x. And as you work, look at them together simultaneously, you can see that the function that it's talking about, the original function, not the derivative, is x to the power of 3, a cubic function.